Welcome back, good people, and get ready to complete our last bedroom DIYs with the current 13 transformative bedroom hacks designed to conquer a small space. From Simpome, let's start our first craft. Number 13 DIY Behind the Door Narrow Shelves Project Put that idle space behind your door to work with DIY ledges. Adapt Anna White's $10 ledge plans to suit the narrower area using 1x3s instead of 1x4s. Construct the ledges with halved 6-foot long boards using a Craig jig and nail gun and secure a 1x2 lip to prevent items from sliding off. Prime, caulk, and paint before installing. After securing the ledge to the studs, ensure it's level and erase any pencil marks. Use makeup wipes or a magic eraser to clean persistent pencil marks. Number 12. A floating TV back wall DIY in cabinet with LED lights. Step 1. Cutting, framing, and back wall preparation. Measure and carefully cut the materials for your floating back wall, ensuring precise dimensions. Frame it up using sturdy materials to ensure stability. Remember to prepare the back wall surface for a flawless finish. Step 2. Install LED strips for a magical backlight effect. Step 3. Create a sleek floating cabinet for stylish storage. Step 4. Paint the surfaces with a color that complements your decor. Step 5. Finally, elevate your design with 3D panels for added depth. Remember to take your time with cuts and leveling and prioritize cable management and electrical safety. 11. A repurposed underbed rolling gift wrap organizer idea. Turn the underutilized space beneath your bed into a neat storage solution for small items. Here's how. Assemble a box frame using wood glue and screws. Then drill holes for dowels and set up dividers. Add hinges, casters, and handles for easy access. Customize with paint or stain, then slide in your items for a tidy mobile organizer. Alternatively, follow Annette Belknap's project. To start, construct a plywood frame, cut pine board, for handles or use drawer pulls and fasten with wood glue, biscuits, and screws. Paint the drawers, let dry, then affix casters and drawer bumpers for a chic space saving solution. 10. A DIY king size bed project with extra drawers from Meg and Steph. First, gather your trusty tools and cut out the back frame, bottom, and drawer separators. Use half-inch OSB or 7 16 inch OSB for the bottom piece and half-inch plywood or 7 16 inch plywood for the drawer separators. Assemble and attach the back frame to the bottom piece. Later, add the drawer separators using scrap plywood. Equip the 1 inch by 2 inch pieces to provide the ultimate support and clearance for the front top trim piece. Construct the drawers and when you want customize your project with drawer panels and handles for that extra touch of enchantment. Finally crown your creation with plywood caps for a truly majestic finish. 9. A DIY underbed storage drawer from DIY.jp Embrace a cost-effective bedroom transformation with this DIY gem from DIY.jp. The video provides all the guidance you need. Once you've measured your bedroom, it's hard not to boost your organizational skills. However, remember that the casters may be small for heavier items, so distribute weight evenly. If you need more detail, slow the video down to 0.5 speed. This approach is a surefire way to bid farewell to unused room potential without the headache of budgeting spreadsheets. 8. The IKEA Mandel Hack with How to Turn It Into a New Living Cube Revamp your IKEA mandel bed with wheels and a custom living cube. Mark and drill holes for seven wheels on the bed's underside. Insert threaded nuts and attach caster wheels. Build a poplar wood shelving structure around the bed, maintaining a natural unpainted aesthetic. Add privacy screens using polycarbonate plastic and install a drop-down desk with a wooden headboard for the final touch. This adaptable design enhances functionality but considers the weight and stability of the modified structure too. Lastly, ensure wheels are secured and evaluate the load-bearing capacity to fit your space and needs. 
Number seven, repurposed behind the door shoe rack project idea to a new pants rack. Say goodbye to cluttered hangers with the current DIY shoe rack. Equip yourself with a saw, optional wood glue, one 5 8 inch screw, and drill. Drill holes into two 6 foot 1 by 2 boards spaced 6 inches apart and slide dowels in for angled storage. Connect the frames with 6 inch pieces and screws. Attach either repurposed or new brackets and a 21 inch 1 by 2 to the back frame for over the door installation. Once hung, arrange your pants. Consider a French cleat system if the door doesn't work. Just prepare for extra drilling. Always ensure a secure attachment and door stability and remember that you can adapt the concept beyond doors. For example, Number 6. A DIY Dig Pallet Wood Shoe Storage Idea Optimize your shoe storage with this custom rack hack. Start by marking the desired height for each pair on wood pieces, leaving enough room between pairs to accommodate shoe width. Use a drill press for angled holes for the pegs or follow Sawdust Girl's tutorial. Apply wood glue and tap pegs into place, checking alignment with a level. For budget-friendly pegs, consider American Wood Crafter Supply over Home Depot. Reserve space at the bottom for boots and the top for larger shoes. Note, making angled holes may require some practice. Eventually, when done right, this hack will keep your shoes tidy and within easy reach, exactly where they belong near the ankle. Number 5. A full-length mirror idea with a hidden storage. Revamp your space with a mirror that hides clutter, courtesy of Addicted to DIY.com's free printable guide. Cut select pine to size for a smooth painting surface, and assemble outer and inner frames using pocket screws and wood glue. Install dividers, add face pieces with glue and nails, then attach doors with utility hinges. Chiseling for a flat fit, nail half inch by three quarter inch strips for mirror attachment. Use wood glue and 1-inch nails. Align them flush with the top of the mirror frame, not the doors. Fill nail holes with wood filler. Finish as desired. Reattach doors, then attach the mirror with adhesive. Lastly, add hooks for necklaces. Number 4. A budget-friendly crate storage idea with a clever twist. Create versatile storage with wooden crates, a lazy Susan, and a full-length mirror. Adjust crate height for taller individuals and add your personal touch with paint and hooks. Begin by building the base. Attach the lazy Susan hardware to a square wood piece. Clamp and drill holes. Insert bolts and secure the base. Find the center for screws using the folded craft paper. Attach Attach the screws to the wood circle, assemble by sliding bolts through crate holes, and then tighten with a wrench. Add additional crates using a combination of bolts and screws. Number 3. DIY Clothes Drying Rack Idea How to Hang Your Clutter in Style Maximize space with a versatile drying rack. Sit it up near a power source and a sturdy anchor or wall for both drying and ironing. Follow these steps. 1. Construct frames by cutting, sanding, drilling, and attaching pieces for top and bottom racks. 2. Sand the plywood backer and paint or stain the racks. 3. Assemble the rack with hinges, secure racks with hanging strips or magnets, add side support with chain, and glue tull on the bottom rack. And 4. Hang it using an over-the-door hanger or alternative. Enhance functionality with scrap wood shelves, supports, accessory hooks, and even acrylic plastic mirror sheets with self-adhesive to help you dress up when not in use. Number 2. A West Elm-inspired leather-tufted headboard idea with a sneaky storage. First, ensure your headboard lies flat and is easily accessible. Attach a pegboard for a flat surface or skip this if your headboard is solid. Cut foam to size and use spray adhesive to secure it to the pegboard. Apply batting around the foam, stapling it at the back. Consider sewing in seams. Plan button placement with fabric draped over the headboard for added detail. Attach the fabric, ensuring it's taut and secured with staples, then neatly 
gently fold and secure corners. Add the remaining buttons, adjusting the tufting depth. To maximize space, install two 3-inch shelves behind the bed, perfect for ditching a bulky bedside table. Number 1 Bedside Table Upgrades 3 Futuristic Storage Hacks by At Average Joe's Joinery on our last idea, we'll learn how at Average Joe's Joinery flicked messy charging cables and cluttered gadgets on his bedside table simultaneously with three clever hacks. First, add a USB charging hub inside the drawer. To do this, remove the drawer, cut out space for the USB hub using a scrap piece of MDF, and add walnut pieces for a sleek finish. Next, create a hidden cup holder on one side. Simply carve out a shallow circle under the drawer using a circle template and a flush trim router bit. Finally, install a wireless charger on the table's surface. Carve a pocket and add a black painted plywood inlay for the charger. To finish, use cable management sticky backings to hide wires. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.